If you saw my video on how to make a continuous rotation servo, you most likely would know that I made a small rover with two continuous rotation servos. Why have all the trouble of modding servos and not just use a motor like a Blue Wonder? Well, as we all know, servos have a lot of torque and are very cheap, whereas a motor is built for high speed and low torque and can be kinda pricey. In this application, this rover needs a lot of torque to move. Most any motor would just not cut it. So here's how to build one. Start off by cutting an 8 by 115 inch piece of half inch foam. Then cut out foam wheels 5 inches in diameter out of half inch foam. There's a PDF download for the wheel template in the description. Cut 4 wheels in total and glue them together in pairs of 2 to make 1 inch thick wheels. If you are going to use this in the snow, cut shreds in the tires half to 3 quarters of an inch deep all around them. Mark the center point and glue on the modded servos. Once that is dry, glue on the servos with the wheels attached to the front of the foam square. Make sure they are lined up parallel to each other. Then connect the servos to a receiver like you would with a plane that has elevons. For power, I use a BEC that is connected to my receiver. You may need to do some reversing in your radio or adjust the subtrims if your wheels spin. Then add something to the back to make it lift off the ground. A piece of foam or half an easter egg works great. I use an 800 million 3 cell lipo and for best traction, place it in the very front. Then you are done. You can further modify it by adding a foam box around your receiver and BEC like I did here. Also I added a mount for my GoPro and a spot for some FPV gear. Here's what you guys probably wanted to see the most, some driving footage. Now the driving footage wasn't the best, but it gives you an idea of the rover. 
If you end up building this, let me know. I would love to hear about it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.